Why do we eat gold? Gold is tasteless, and I can't believe I have to say this, but it offers no nutritional value whatsoever. That is a fact. But for some reason, people out there are serving edible gold dishes in their restaurants. And for some other reason, people are actually eating them. The world's most expensive dessert is a $25,000 ice cream sundae called frozen or chocolate. There's a $666 burger called the douche burger. Wink. Macaroons that sell at $100 per box, a $1,000 bagel, and a $1,600 chocolate bar. The list goes on and on and on. Eating gold is now a thing, unfortunately, and we're here to find out why. <laughs> First and foremost, this isn't any kind of gold. People aren't exactly chucking mouthfuls of earrings into their gullets. Restaurants use gold leaf sheets in their creations. It's basically an extremely thin sheet of gold, so thin that light can actually penetrate right through it. It is made by tirelessly beating out and stretching pure gold alloy until it reaches a thickness or should I say a thinness of 0.0005 millimeters. So why is it so popular? The answer is very simple. Gold equals luxury. Gold is expensive and most people can't afford gold. And most, most people definitely can't afford to eat gold. So eating gold is really all about big energy. People want to feel superior and want to draw attention to themselves. It's not so much about eating the gold like it's a delicacy because it isn't, remember, it has no flavor. It's more about the act of being able to eat the gold. Where did it all start? Eating gold can be traced back to ancient Egypt. Egyptians essentially used it as a way to approach their divinities. The skin of the gods depicted in their art was gold colored. The tombs of the pharaohs were decorated with gold and gold was eaten as a sacred food. So eating gold is old, but gold. Get it? No? In Europe, edible gold arrived in the Middle Ages. It was used to decorate dishes for the most luxurious banquets. Oranges, dates, grapes, and figs covered with gold powder. The Native Americans, on the other hand, attributed healing powers to gold. They were convinced that by eating gold, they were able to levitate bodies. Alchemists from the 15th century considered that medicines based on gold could actually cure diseases. Apothecaries in Italy began coating medicine with gold leaf to cover up the bitter taste. After the 17th century, using gold in food started to fade away. Until 1981, when Galtiero Marchesi, to many known as the most famous Italian chef in the world, rekindled the use of edible gold with his now world-famous saffron risotto a la gold leaf. The dish inspired star chefs, award-winning bartenders, and even cake designers to use gold leaf in their cuisines and creations. Is it actually safe to eat gold though? Gold is a particularly non-reactive element and is not absorbed during the digestion process, so it is safe to eat. That being said, there are no nutritional or health benefits associated with its consumption. The purity of edible gold must be above 23 carat. Carat or carats? Carats. 24 carat, 23 carat. Anything below that might contain other metals and can be toxic if consumed. Conclusion. So basically, edible gold does nothing for you, adds nothing to your life, it has no taste, no health benefits, no nutritional value whatsoever, and will have you break the bank to try it. So why do we eat gold? We've been doing it since ancient times to show off. And if I may, even if you can afford to blow 25000 thousand dollars on an ice cream sundae a hey, you crazy you get it because a used the chemical symbol for gold oh. come on
You guys, thank you so much for watching this video. That is why we eat gold. If you're asking the question, why do we like feet, or why we like the smell of gasoline, or even why we wear dresses, that and so much more is on our YouTube channel. I'll leave you links down in the description below. Consider leaving a like, dropping us a comment, and subscribing to the channel. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.